Yuuud is get you it's your boy I'm back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be taking a quick look at the five new cards coming to NBA at 2K24 my team. Remembering these cards are going to be free. Similar to what we saw for the John Havlicek check last week. That is what these are going to be. Now, remember, if you, let's say, are going for LeBron James, you are going to need each and every one of these five cards. Uh, but the grind is probably going to take you a decent while. Now, a brief look at these cards. Hamadou Diallo, Anthony Tolliver, Christian Wood, Dave DeBusher, and Trey Young. Am I, like, super excited about any of these cards? Not really. Uh, just for the sole fact, like, Trey Young is the Amy. And Dave DeBusher is the ruby. And honestly, guys, I think Dave DeBusher will be the best card that does come out tomorrow. But none of these cards are, like, in my opinion, super hype. And I feel like 2K could, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe get the community hype if they dropped a more hype beast type of card. And these five cards just are not exactly that. Now, uh, does that mean they're going to be horrible? No. But when I look, like, down through, you know, the my team, uh, my team mode... This is what we saw last week. We saw Daryl Armstrong, Tristan Thompson, Vin Baker, TJ Warren, and John Havlicek. I mean, you could argue that the, the, the content that we see uh, to, uh, tomorrow is going to be more exciting than that. Now, obviously, we will get new Evos in-game as well. And the new Evos are going to be way more exciting than these. Now, I get it. Some people might like Trey Young because his movement might be good. His release might be okay. Um, but but again, why do I why am I high on Dave DeBusher? Well, I feel like if Dave DeBusher has a decent three ball, his defense could be good. And I feel like he has the most potential. Because if you look at a guy like Hamadou Diallo, he's going to be able to dunk the ball well. We know that. But he's probably going to have a low three ball. Anthony Tolliver is going to be able to shoot the ball well. But that's about it. Christian Wood, I mean, he'll be an okay power forward for budget options. But, I mean, the Christian Wood release isn't what it has been in the past. And so, I mean, when you're looking at complete cards that are coming tomorrow, I feel like Dave DeBusher is about it. Now, how are these cards available? Well, basically, you will got to start at the bottom. You got to get an emerald. And then once you get an emerald, you got to get a, the next emerald. Then you'll get the sapphire. Then you'll get the ruby. Then you'll be able to grind for Trey Young. So expect it to be like, I don't know, an hour to two hour grind for the Amethyst Trey Young. But like, I mean, Trey will not be that good. He's undersized. I mean, his release, I don't know. It's, it's, it is what it is. But even when you look at John Havlicek, he wasn't that good either. The only way I would grind these agendas is if you want LeBron James. That's, or you're grinding card collector level. That's about it. I just can't see any other reason uh, for, for, for me to grind for these cards. Let's say even on my No Money Spent Squad series. There's absolutely no reason for me to grind for any of these cards. It's just, it does not make sense for me to do that when none of these cards would play for me. None of them. I mean, Dave DeBush, I guess, would have a chance, but that would be it. Now, if 2K somehow soups Dave DeBush, then I would probably grind for him. But after I got him, I'm not going to finish grinding for Trey Young. Trey Young is a bona fide scrub. Like, the, the way I think about Trey Young is this. Not only is he bad defensively, his defensive stats are horrible. He's so undersized. Like, those two things are horrible in this game that is ran by defense and shooting. And he can shoot the three ball. I mean, he's a three hunting point guard, so I like that. But it's the fact that his defense is just going to be so, so, so horrible that I just think it's hard for me to even make the case that anybody in this game should be should grind for Trey Young. It just does not make sense for me. Now, again, it's the Majestic set. I'll have to grind it on my other account because I am going for LeBron James. And as I grind it, I'll test these cards out, see if there's any, you know, any cards that pop out. Like, who knows? Maybe 2K will give Anthony Tolliver a really good defense and he'll be a decent 3 and D option. Those are the types of things we're going to have to see, even for Christian Wood. Maybe. 2k will give him more defense than i'm anticipating and i guess if they do that he could be solid as well i guess for me i can't be super hyped about any of these cards uh with, with what i've what i've experienced with them this year like even when i've used christian wood for the lakers in the playing out lakers like, i don't want to say it's all bad he has a decent player about he's going to be able to shoot but it's like i think there's a limit to how good each and every one of these cards can be outside of Dave DeBusher. Now, one thing I do want to do for this video is I want to go to last year and look up Dave DeBusher. I just, I think, I think, I think, I think we, we could see a decent Dave DeBusher. Now, do I expect the Dave DeBusher tomorrow to be this good? No, okay, because this Dave DeBusher was an amethyst and he was absolutely elite for a specific time. But defensively, he could be solid. Now, 
before the Evo, this is what he looked like. And I honestly think that Dave DeBusher tomorrow could look similar to this. I'm just hoping the three ball is somewhat better because if Dave DeBusher could at least have a decent three ball with this type of defense, you could be looking at a card that could play for a while. You could. Now, am I saying he's going to be the best card in the game? No, because he's only 6'6", but you could be looking at a card that could play for some time. Now, we didn't see an Anthony Tolliver card. So let's talk about the Trey Young we saw in... Uh, in, in uh, I'm, I'm trying to find the Trey Young. We saw an Amy Trey Young in Season 1. I mean, Trey probably going to be somewhat similar to this. Going to have a limitless, going to have good playmaking, shooting badges, and good release. Like, it's not all going to be bad with Trey. There's just a really... Just, just a limit to how good he truly can be. And so that that's my whole thing. If Trey's like the top card, the Amethyst coming tomorrow, it, the, the whole set, there's just a limit to it there, there just is and if, if i'm most excited about a card named dave debusher coming tomorrow we're in for some trouble now thank gosh that evo is coming tomorrow could save the day especially with like a jared vanderbilt if his evo looks good because i'm telling you right now this does not get me excited i'm glad we're getting free cards in my team i think that's great the whole thing that i hate is they're manipulating lebron to be like mostly free and that's not the case lebron is still super 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 expensive and yes you can grind some free cards along the way but it, it, it's like they're manipulating Bron to be like mostly free in which he's really not. So I don't know. That's just kind of my whole mindset to this. I feel like they're just putting these cards in the agendas to basically feel like people are grinding these cards. And then if they get these cards, they might as well lock in for LeBron James. I feel like that's what 2K is trying to do. And, and that just doesn't really sit right with me. If these cards were actually good on their own, then I, I wouldn't care. But these cards are all horrible. Even last week's cards were horrible, which basically means like we're grinding. We're just grinding for LeBron at the end of the day. If you're grinding this set, you're grinding it for LeBron James. And which 2K wants you guys to feel like, oh yeah, Bron is partly free. Now you could buy these players directly via the player market but if that's what you guys do all i can do is wish you the best of luck because your odds of, of, of really i mean buy, look you're spending straight money on on absolute bona fide scrubs just for lebron james it just it is all sad in my opinion but again if you want bron i would grind these out you'll save yourself a lot of money a lot of mt but that is the only reason i'd grind any of these guys out i wish i could make this video talking about how i'm excited about what's to come tomorrow i i, I really wish i could but the problem is there's nothing to really be excited about here at all i mean I can't even I can't even say oh Hamadou Diallo could be a fun card to use because do I believe that deep down? No, I don't believe I don't believe Hamadou Diallo is gonna be good or even anything like anything. I don't even want to say usable, but I I, I kind of have to say usable. Like, is he really gonna be usable? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna be undersized. He's not gonna. I just I I, I just don't think he's gonna be great. So again, we'll see uh, come tomorrow what these cards ultimately do look like. But the one thing you gotta know is. This is just basically for LeBron because these cards are all not very good. I had to make an eight-minute video talking about Trey Young, Dave DeBusher, Christian Wood, Anthony Tolliver, and Hamadou Diallo. <laughs> it's where 2K is at nowadays, guys. I don't know what to say. These Evos tomorrow better be good because this Majestic set is not it. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the Majestic set down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're doing it. As always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.